When you're playing Chopin's Etude Opus 10 number 2 with small hands, or maybe with any size hands, it's a good idea to practice just the chromatic line in the right hand without those underlying chords. So instead of just this, you'll practice this. And then once you put the chords back in, you want to make sure that you don't hold on to the notes or even the shape of the notes. Instead, you want to let your hand close after you play the chord, so then you can play the next three notes and then reopen the hand for the next one. If you try to hold on to the notes that way, you're going to end up with this kind of awful arthritic spidery feel, and you don't want that. There also are a few places where one hand can help the other, and they don't show up in every edition. So I want to show you a couple of places. You can think of them as cheats, or you can think of them as tricks that I hope you'll find helpful. This piece has a lot of repetition. Measures 2, 10, 14, 37, and 41 are exactly the same. And in all of them, you can take the last chord in the left hand. Measures 3 and 4 are the same as 11 to 12, and the same as 38 to 39. You can take part of the right hand chord with the left hand. So in the last beat of measure 3, the left hand takes the treble E, then the D sharp, and then the E. That lets the right hand use the thumb for A, G sharp, A. So the trilling there can happen mostly on 2 and 3, instead of 3 and 4. Then at the end of measure 4, the left hand can take that chord with the D and G sharp. So the right hand is free just to do the chromatic descent. So in measure 4 we have... And I like to do 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then four, three, four, and it takes a lot of flexibility to do that, but that's part of the game of the piece. In measures 18, 20, and 22, I leave out the lowest right hand note in beat three. So here's measure 18, leaving out the right hand low A in that A minor chord on beat three. instead of Then in measure 20, I'm leaving out the right hand low F in that D flat chord. Instead of And then in measure 22, here's leaving out the right hand low G in the E flat chord on beat 3. Instead of... It just is too much to open to that. And I've never had an audience complain about those missing notes. So remember to let your right hand close and let your left hand help and leave out a note when you need to. Enjoy working on Opus 10 number 2, and let me know if you have any questions, and good luck!